Hey, welcome back. Uh, if you didn't know, I have a tire changer. I bought that a couple years ago. Something the drifter needs. Anyway, CJ got his truck in here. He's doing some towing tomorrow. And his back tires weren't too hot, so he's going to change them. We're also changing the wheels, because look how rusty these wheels are. You can straight... You can chunk the wheels apart. That ain't, that ain't good. And that, ain't, that ain't just dirt. That's like part of the wheels just coming apart. That ain't good. So, uh, luckily, from when I put uh, fancy wheels and tires on my truck, I had my old spares, or my old wheels laying around as spares. So he's going to take some of these wheels, put on there. And you guys are going to get a funny montage, my first time doing a montage, of us changing some tires. Put this thing to work. So when you go to the tire shop and you get new tires and you know they mount them and then they balance them, well as I'm sure a lot of you already know, when they balance them, they put weights on it, right? That's how you get it to balance. You put weights on the sides that don't have enough weight. And uh, well this wasn't me for the record. CJ bought this truck with these tires that he, he took off already on it. and. Uh, you're supposed to put the weights on the wheel. Not the hubcap. I don't know whose idea that was, but that is not where that goes. It doesn't even stay, it moves. This was probably moving around the whole time he was driving. It's freaking raining out here, but I gotta feed my goats anyway. They can't go hungry because it's raining. I'm wearing my Crocs and my feet are gonna get all wet. I hate wet socks. Sheesh. And I can't get the shed door open. All right, it actually just started raining harder. I'm glad, I'm glad I got out of the rain. I don't wanna, I don't wanna get my camera all wet. So I'm actually gonna pocket this thing and uh, I'm gonna go and feed these goats. I'll try to get you guys some goat and alpaca ASMR. I've heard that's hot business. <laughs> See you guys uh, back at the goats. Look at them all. They're so excited. They've only been out of hay since like yesterday. I don't know why they look so hungry, but I guess the grass ain't grown since it's winter time. There you go, guys. Eat up. Why are you mad, girl? Don't jump on me, you're all wet and muddy. Hi, baby. Hey. Oh, God. <laughs> These guys are such whores for animal crackers. <laughs> I don't have any, don't bite me. No, your teeth. Bro, brush your teeth. <laughs> Oh, he made a noise. Yeah, he makes he's making noises today. Yeah. He also let you pet his forehead, which is different. Ooh. Hey, buddy. Ooh, ooh, he was saying hi to the camera. <laughs> hey. Uh uh. Come back here. Don't be a dick. I got you, dog. <laughs> <laughs> So as promised, we are starting on my dad's 
350Z. A um, little background on the car, which has been stated in another video. Sorry for repeating myself. Uh, that engine used to be in that car, but I took it out of that car and put it in this car for a buddy of mine, and then I ended up obtaining the car, and then my dad bought it off me. Uh, that's pretty much it. It's supercharged and stock. Has uh, some wheels on it that if we get the top changed, we'll be changing the wheels to my dad bought brand new wheels and tires for it and a bunch of other stuff as well, but that's unimportant. Um, this video is about the top. It's probably all we're gonna get to anyway. So we're gonna get started in just a second. I'll set up the tripod and show you a few things here and there. What I'll probably do is do like a step-by-step, -step, but just show you like the first part of that step and then zoom right to the next part because it is a very lengthy process and I don't want this to be a very lengthy video. I know that the very lengthy videos aren't very uh, interesting to watch. They get, you burn out pretty quick. So I'm trying to keep them under like the 17 minute mark, somewhere between like 12 and 17 is like ideal for me. But, you know, I've had a couple 30 minute ones. It happens. So I'm gonna go grab the tripod and we'll uh, start taking this sucker off. So first things first, we're gonna go ahead and get the top like halfway open and then stop. Luckily, like with this, it's not just a one push button. You have to hold the button. So when you stop, the top stops moving. So it'll be easy to stop it right where we want it. And then I'll get back with you guys and show you the next step. Hey, this is, this is my dad. This is who I'll be working with today. This is my, my compadre, my helping hand. It's his car. I'm helping him. Whatever. Uh, <laughs> so the, now that we've got the car like halfway open, we got that part open just because it has to be and then this part open because this is what we're working on. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is remove like these rubber pieces and this piece. So there's like a clip in here on both sides and clips on these and clips uh, underneath of this the whole way and some rubber stripping over there too. And uh, we're just going to zip right through that. It's all just like taking off any panel inside a car or whatever, just interior clips and pulling it off. And then I'll show you guys once we get those top coverings off and start getting to the actual screws and rivets. So now that we've got all the rubber and plastic off of the outside, we're going to go through and there's screws all along these metal panels across the top and the sides. And then there's rivets behind those panels and we're going to unscrew the screws and drill out the rivets and then I'll get back to you. So now that we got all those metal panels off, you can tell the top's already starting to get pretty loose and starting to move, which is good. That's what you want. Um, now we're going to close the top some. You can go ahead and get in and start closing it um, so that we can get to the back part better. Uh, this rubber piece, which is already most of the way loose, has to come the rest of the way off. And then there's screws and rivets up under this back side as well. You'll see as soon as he gets to work on that. Uh, uh, open it just a little. Uh, close it some more. Close it some more. Keep closing. Keep closing. There you go. Stop. So yeah, there's more screws and rivets up under here. And then once we take those off and get this metal panel off, then we'll be able to actually close the top up just a little bit and rip the whole canvas off. Uh, since the back glass was shattered, we don't have to disconnect the heaters, but there's some wires up here that we have to disconnect and she'll be off and we can start going back together. So here's the car with no top on it at all. And if you're following along at home, you'll see what I mean when you do this. Parts of the top are just folded in to these. You gotta pull them out a little bit, get it out. And when you put the new one in, you just tuck it in there and then squeeze it up with some pliers or something. Or if you're the Hulk, you can do it with your hands. <laughs> There's a couple of rivets back here that go like right underneath the window, basically. They're kind of hard to get to, but if you just cut them, it's easier to rivet the new ones on and get them off without the top on there at all. So just cut the old one and then rivet the new one on before you get it all put together. But now just reverse process, we're going to unbox the new top and 
drape it over and then we're going to start up front and get these screws and that metal panel back on in the front and then just sort of like work our way back but we have to make sure that before we get these screws on here that we get these rivets in and then get all this stuff hooked up and then do the back glass back here and then it'll be time to see if this window shatters too race dog we got race dog <laughs> This video might end up actually being pretty short, which I'm totally okay with, but we got this little girl, she's done. Um, like I said in the last clip, uh, it was just reverse process. We put it on there, like we took it off and uh, it was a pain. Um, <laughs> it didn't want to go on. It was really hard to like stretch it over and get the screws in it, but we ended up getting it and it looks okay. Um, it, we got to let it sit here and sit closed and probably run some heat on it for a while. That way it can sort of do its stretching nonsense, but it is closed and it is on and I'm excited and it has back glass. Got some glass there. Didn't before. But I'm just rambling right now trying to make this video a hair longer than it is. I'm gonna go ahead and close her out. I'll see you guys on the next one.